Jackson. And this is my 2009 Nissan Altima. It was cheap, reliable, it was good on gas. At that point, that was the only thing I was looking for. I was just looking for something I can get to work in bed. I started by lowering the cars on BC coilovers. Um, Rotoform TMBs, 18 by nine and a half. I have Nismo side skirts. These are real Nismo, so and I also have a Nismo badge. Nismo rear corners. And the front end is a Stillen fascia. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the thing is about the Altima is not only just an Altima, it's also a 2.5, so it's a little four banger. And I mean, because it's slow and low, you know, it's always gonna get that, that local hate for the most part, yeah. I love my car. At the end of the day, it is an Altima, but it's different. You don't see it every day at all. I also get, you get what is that, but you also get for the most part, Oh, that's a nice Maxima. That's one of the one of the most famous things, the Altima and the Maxima. But no, it's an Altima. It's 100%. Uh, next is I'm deciding between bags, <laughs> bags and interior. That's it's a it's a long fight. I want to do interior, but the thing is, being this low, um, it's hard. It's hard. I've gotten stuck on multiple speed bumps. It's not my not my favorite thing to do. Kind of. Although it's the status is also pretty embarrassing on top of that. <laughs> you get stuck on in a speed bump in front of Chick-fil-A or the movie theaters. Whoa, that did not sound good. Yeah, but it's, it's all right. How many miles on it now? 142,000. Jeez, so you daily this thing. Yeah. My daily show car. You ever want anything? At a show? Nah, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I want to. Someday it'll come in time. Glad I'm keeping this thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the goal. And then to keep this and get a daily that I can work on as well. Right. Would you uh would you want to get something fast for a daily? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, you probably get pretty tired of being the slowest guy around. Yeah, pretty much. What it is is, and then especially being in the in the crew with everybody being over 200 horsepower, being the being the slowest one around, it does does hurt a little bit. But yeah. you know, this car has its moments. Yeah. But I mean, what I like about it though is that. You Stuck around, you know what I mean? You stuck with it. Yeah. Because a lot of people be like, man, it's Altima, I'm down with it. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, it's it's a the thing is it's a nice car. Yeah. It's a it's a, it's reliable, it's good on gas. What you have before this? Nothing, this is my first car. This is your first car? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm 25. Okay. Yeah. So first car, not so bad. It's that's what I always say. It's still my first car. It's your first so, car. Yeah. But I already know what I want in that. Well, what I don't it? specific car I don't, yeah. but I know I want to do something performance-wise, I yeah, should say. Yeah. I've wanted the G37 IPL for the longest time. Really? Yeah, it's it's a goal, but I've seen so many other cars that I want, so yeah. I got time. I'm gonna tell you this, man. Me coming from where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. having driven, you know, besides the channel, we're just in life having driven at least 100 different cars. I've owned, I mean, you name it, I've owned a 300 ZX, mm -hmm. VR4, uh, you know, 3000 GT, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I've owned uh, BMWs, you name it, 540, um, I am with a six speed, you know, everything. Nice. What I do want to let you know from that perspective is that, you know, you have that goal. I want to get a G37, whatever, IP. Uh, and a lot of times you do have that goal and you get to it, you drive it and you're like, you know, I don't know anymore. <laughs> it really... It, it depends, man, because a lot of times you idolize the car and you drive it and you're like, I don't know. Because, like, when my time came around, right, uh -huh. and I was like, because I used to drive, dude, my cars were like the 90s. I had the old shit, the high mileage shit, everything. Yeah. And I was just tired of dealing with it. I used to, like, have a good motor in my car and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And at one point, I'm like, you know what, I'm tired. I'm going to get something off the fucking showroom floor. Give me that. No issues. I want it. Warranty, I want it. Right? Yeah. And I had it in mind, dude. I always loved STIs. STI is what I want. Uh, WRX STI is what I want. And it just came out with a brand new body, 2015, I think it was. Yeah. 
I'm like, okay, it's the time. It was late 2015, so it wasn't like brand, brand new, oh. but it was right off the lot. It was brand new car, but it wasn't like they just came out. So, you know, I went to the dealership and I drove it and I looked, it was me and my buddy that test drove it. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him, he looked at me and was like, nah, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that great. I really? idolized the car for years and years and years and I drove it. It just wasn't that great. Yeah, like, it felt like a brand new car with an old motor, which is literally what it is. They haven't changed that motor in so long. And the next door, you know, I drove many cars before that test drove it. Mm -hmm. And the next door, you probably want to find a spot to turn around. All right. And the next door, there was a Ford dealership. And I was never a Ford guy. I never was a domestic guy, oh. nothing. But I'm like, man, these 5.0s look good. And they look expensive, too. So I went next door, man, and I hopped in it. And I'm like, yes, that's the one. So don't ever have, like, don't ever think that that's the car I want because this is not the car you want. <laughs> Yo.